Okay, FAQ number 110. When can Christians use mockery? Should we just be sarcastic and just mean-spirited all the time or whatever and mock people? Uh, no. We should, uh, you know, let our speech be with grace, seasoned with salt. Interesting there. It's not just all grace. It's supposed to be seasoned with salt, which is some uh, things that irritate the lost. Uh, so that's there. But we are supposed to be meek. We are supposed to be mild and gentle and, and everything else. But then people say, well, then that's all you should ever be. You should never use mockery. Oh, uh, no, that's not there either. Let's look in Romans chapter 16, verse 17 and 18. It says here, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Mark them and avoid them. Name their name, in other words. But look at verse 18. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. Okay, they are literally in the ministry for the money. That's what they're doing. And, you know, saying that somebody is serving their own belly is kind of a crude thing to say. But very true. Um, I'll show you another one here real quickly. Uh, I'm trying to think of where it is. Titus. Yeah. Um, Titus chapter 1, verse uh, 10 says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Remember what we read? They, su they serve their own belly. Uh, verse 12, One of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the Cretans are always liars, evil be slow bellies. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. All right. So there's part of being, part of mocking is actually a sharp rebuke. Elijah with the priests of Baal, he's up there, he's there mocking them and stuff like this. Uh, you get somebody that says, you know, they, they take a little, I don't have anything here I can use as a prop, but, you know, you get this Catholic priest and he, he holds up this wafer and he goes, Oh, and stuff, and he's, you know, doing this consecration of the thing and all, you know, and crossing himself. You have every right to mock that person, okay? Why? It's nonsense. Absolute, total nonsense. Uh, there are, you know, the Muslims, and they're, and they're you know, bowing down to this thing. And, and, oh, man, I can't, I can't see how the Jews in Israel can take that, you know, hearing this, you know, call it a prayer thing happening. I'd, I'd, I'd flip out. <laughs> It'd be a bad, you know, situation. You can mock those types of situations. Why? It's it's just it's ridiculous. But you get somebody who's just a, a sinner, and you're trying to talk to them, trying to witness to them. Yeah, be gentle. If you see that there. But if when you see somebody and they are just clearly rejecting the Lord, and they start to mock the Bible and blaspheme the Lord and stuff like that, you have every right to mock that person at that point in time. Okay.